This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to talk about why you should never, ever rely on TSA locks for anything but making sure your luggage doesn't accidentally fall open. The locks I'm talking about can easily be identified by the red diamond-shaped Travel Sentry logo that you can see on each one of these. Now it should be clear from a quick glance that none of these locks are designed to resist forcible entry, and in addition they are all trivially easy to pick. In fact, let's open one of these up as an example. Master locks generally cry out for this sort of treatment. This one has a tiny little wafer lock on the bottom. I suspect that can be raked without too much difficulty. And just that quickly, we got it open. Let's relock it. So. These won't resist forcible entry and they don't resist picking, but frankly, that's probably okay because when used for their intended purpose, these secure luggage that's in the custody of the TSA, which of course is permitted and in some cases required to open and inspect your luggage. However, I often see locks with this little red symbol on gym lockers, electric panels, storage cabinets, and a variety of other places, and that is bad. Why is it so bad? It's because these locks can all be opened with TSA master keys. You may be thinking, well, that's not so bad, only the TSA has them, right? Well, wrong. Not only are the dimensions of these master keys available online, but you can download from the internet 3D printing plans for them. But let's say making keys really isn't your thing. That's okay too, because for just a few bucks on the internet, some of these master keys can be delivered to your door. Now there are only seven TSA master keys and number seven seems to be the most used. In fact, every single one of these is marked TSA 007. And here is the TSA 007 master key. I got it from China for about five bucks. So let's see how this works. We have our master lock, of course, that one opens. If we can look at some of these locks, the profiles of the key look nothing like the master, but the master of course still works. Same goes for this little Brinks. You can see absolutely no similarities. Got that one open. Oh, this one is key retaining. I suppose that helps make sure the TSA doesn't accidentally leave your luggage unlocked. So as you can see, all of these open up very quickly and with no difficulties with our $5 Chinese master key. So to all you folks out there who are using these on your gym locker, imagine how someone could walk into a busy locker room find one locker with a big red target on it, open it up with their key, and steal your valuables. It wouldn't give rise to even the least bit of suspicion. So remember, these locks have a place on TSA screened luggage, but they should never, ever be used for anything else. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.